Transferring a character with a beard or custom eyebrows from Daz Studio to iClone is a straightforward process thanks to the new beard and brow features included in the latest version of Character Creator. Oftentimes, characters will simply have their eyebrows drawn on their face like this. You can see here that they have no depth at all. But the eyebrows we are talking about today are the ones that come as a separate attachment like these. You can see here that these actually stick out from the face. Now I'm going to transfer this character into Character Creator the same way I normally would, and I'm going to skim through the process to keep this video short. For a more detailed explanation of this whole export-import process, please see the description below for a link to a more detailed video about the subject. We're going to start by applying the G8 male A pose to the character and then go to File, Export. We're going to export as an FBX. I'm going to use these options, but for a more detailed explanation, please see the linked video in the description. In Character Creator, we're going to use Transformer to import our character. At the prompt, we choose Advanced. Now I'm assuming you want to keep your DAS textures for your character and not use the default Character Creator 3 skin. So we're going to click Bake Body Texture and pick a texture size. From here there's two ways to proceed. There's a fully automatic way which happens during import and there's a way to assign our beard or brow later on in Character Creator. I'll show you both. So first we start with the eyebrows and we're going to actually pick hair, brows, and beard and set the layer to brows. This will have Transformer automatically bring the eyebrows in correctly. For the beard and mustache, let's do it the manual way. So for now, we're just going to set them as accessory. While we are here, we will fix any of the other types as we see fit. and also modify our texture sizes as needed. When we're done, we press OK. And after several minutes, the character is in Character Creator. Now let's animate the face and see if the eyebrows worked. So you'll see here if I choose an outer brow and I move it up, his eyebrows move with his face. Now let's choose the jaw and try it out with that. We see that because we picked this as an accessory, it's not attached to the face in any way, so it's not animating with the face. So let's fix that now. First we choose our beard from the scene list. We go to the Modify tab and the Attribute sub-tab. Then we're going to click on Create Hair, Brows, and Beard. We say yes to reset the facial expressions. And now we can pick which setting best describes our beard. This is one of the main reasons you may want to do it this manual way rather than doing it during import. Because during the import, you will have to pick a beard type only by the text descriptions. But doing it later, we can see graphic representations of which one to pick. And it's a little more straightforward. So you'll see here that because we have a beard and a mustache together, we can pick the full beard option and select apply. Now we'll close this and check our facial animation once again. You'll see now that when we move the jaw up and down, the beard and mustache are working the way they should. As an added bonus, we can save our eyebrows and beards for later use on other characters. To do this, Select the eyebrows, go to Smart Gallery, under Pack, click on Custom. I'm going to right click in the blank space here and create a new pack. I'm going to call the pack Mr. Wu. I'm going to open up the Mr. Wu pack. With the brow selected, I'm going to select Save. It automatically knows that it's a hair element, so all I have to do is give it a name.
And of course, we can do the same thing with the beard. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. This video brought to you by BrianKramerBooks.com. BrianKramerBooks.com for all your humorous science fiction needs.